Hi, Dr. Dave here. Have you ever wondered why some tables play tough and others easy? In this video, I present the Table Difficulty Factor, or TDF, system that measures table toughness. You can use TDF to characterize and compare any pool tables. There are many factors that affect how difficult a table plays, including table size, pocket size, facing angle, and shelf depth, pocket facing and shim properties and condition, cloth and ball type and condition, rail and cushion conditions, table levelness, temperature and humidity, etc. But the main factors, not depending on conditions, are table size and pocket geometry. The corner pocket opening size, facing angle, and shelf depth are particularly important. If a table is large, shots will generally be longer. And as shown here, longer shots have a much smaller margin for error than shorter shots, making them more difficult. If the pocket mouth is large, there is a large margin for error to pocket balls. But if the facing angles are large and the shelf is deep, balls can easily rattle if you hit the near cushion or point first. Here are some examples. How's that for a four rail rejection? Here's what this sort of shot looks like in super slow motion. If the facing angles were not as large, or if the shelf were not as deep, this ball would have easily been pocketed. Large facing angles and a deep shelf can also cause balls to rattle if you hit the facing too far out. I know the pockets on my table look huge but the large facing angle and deeper than average shelf makes them play a little tighter than they look. The Table Difficulty Factor, or TDF, is a percentage measure of how difficult or easy a particular table plays based on table size and three simple corner pocket measurements. The TDF is calculated from four factors. Table Size Factor, or TSF, Pocket Size Factor, or PSF, Pocket Angle Factor, or PAF, and Pocket Shelf Factor, or PLF. By multiplying the four factors, you get the overall Table Difficulty Factor, which is a good measure of table toughness. If the TDF is close to 1, the table has an average level of difficulty. If the TDF is greater than 1, the table plays more difficult than average. And if the TDF is less than 1, the table plays easier than average. The value ranges used for the four factors are summarized in the TDF Factor document linked in the video description. All the numbers were chosen carefully based on how each factor affects the margin of error for a wide range of shots. If you want to learn about the rationale and logic used to determine the factor value ranges, see the TDF resource page linked in the video description. To determine a table's TDF, you just need to know the table size and take three simple corner pocket measurements. If you don't know the size of your table, you can easily check it by measuring the width from cushion nose to cushion nose. The table size factor table lists all standard values. My table is a 9 foot regulation size with a width of 50 inches. Again, for the pocket, we need the mouth size, facing angle, and shelf depth. You can use a ruler to easily measure all three. The mouth measurement is taken point to point. This pocket has a 5 inch mouth. The shelf depth is measured from the point to point line to the slate top lip edge where the drop off begins. This shelf depth is 1.5 inches. If you have a protractor or a carpenter angle measuring device, you can measure the facing angle directly. This facing angle is 144 degrees. If you don't have an angle measuring device, you can instead use a ruler to measure the pocket throat size. It is measured 2 inches back from the cushion nose. On most tables, the cushion width is 2 inches, in which case you can measure at the backs of the cushions. But you should check your table first. On this table, I need to measure the throat size beyond the back of the cushions a little. Here, the throat size is 3 and 7 eighths inches. The pocket angle factor table shows how the throat measurement is converted to a facing angle range. Just subtract the throat from the mouth. Here, 5 minus 3 and 7 eighths gives 1 and an eighth, which is between 1 and 1 and a quarter, which is in the range of the 144 degrees measured earlier. 
If you want to be more accurate with all your measurements, you can lay down large post-it notes or masking tape to better define the lines and intersection points. Mark the cushion nose line and the facing line to define the pocket mouth points. You can also use these lines to get an accurate angle measurement using a protractor. You can also mark the point-to-point -point line to get an accurate shelf measurement. And if you don't have an angle measuring device and want to measure facing angle with a throat measurement instead, you can clearly mark the 2-inch throat line points. With table size and pocket geometry information, the TDF can be calculated either manually by looking up numbers in the TDF tables, or automatically using a spreadsheet or online calculator. A standard 9-foot table has a table size factor of 1. A 5-inch pocket has a pocket size factor of 0 0.91. A 144-degree facing angle with a pocket size factor between 0.9 and 1.1 has a pocket angle factor of 1.1 and a 1.5 inch shelf depth with a pocket angle factor greater than or equal to 1.1 has a pocket shelf factor of 0.99. Multiplying the four factors gives the overall table difficulty factor. The TDF for this table is 0.99, which is considered average. It is much easier to use one of the automatic calculation tools linked in the video description. Here's a demo of the mobile-friendly online calculation tool authored by Isaac on AZ Billiards. You can enter measurements in inches or centimeters and use fractions or decimals. The tool spits out each factor and the total TDF. Here is a demo of the impressive Excel spreadsheet tool authored by Billy University instructor Adam Bishop. It allows you to enter the facing angle directly as an option to throat size, and it provides a nice graphical display of how each factor contributes to the overall table difficulty factor. Yellow is average, Green is easier than average, and red is more difficult than average. Example TDF ratings for a wide range of table sizes, types, and brands can be found in the AZ Billiards forum thread linked in the video description. Many tables, especially ones with small pocket openings, large facing angles, or deep shelves, are much more difficult than the average table. And many tables, especially bar boxes, are much less difficult than the average table. How difficult is the table you usually play on? When you get a chance, take the three simple measurements, calculate the TDF, and see how it matches up. Also, please post your table info, measurements, and TDF results in the video comments section below. If you want to learn more about the TDF system, see the links in the video description. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.